How's it going out there in the world of gaming and everything else? You know it is, is Anthony Showtime Taylor, and welcome to the very first episode of Cafe to Go. This is literally where we go to showcase mobile-based games, Android games, iOS, Windows if you got Windows, and a few other PC games that are real quick to pick up, super fun to play, and recommended by not just myself, but also others in the Gamers Cafe. Um, the very first game that I want to showcase uh, is actually a game from Supercell, uh, which is better known as the creators of Clash of Clans. Um, it's Clash Royale. This game itself is super fun. It's really quick to pick up um, and play. It's super easy. I would recommend this to literally everyone. So the game itself starts off as basically a strategy-based um, card game, more or less. So you're able to choose your team. So as you can see, I have my team here. Um, each of them range from common cards, which are just the basic, oh, hey, you just pick this card up because it's the first card of the game, all the way up to the epic cards, which are not only devastating to use for power and um, protection, but it's also uh, in itself the best cards that you can probably pick up in the game. They do also make other ones that uh, include like legendary based cards um, that I'm yet to pick up. But for what it's worth, um, I feel that my deck is awesome. Um, each card has its own set of skill set. Um, so as you can see, for example, the Valkyrie here um, is a melee fighter. So that means that she attacks on the ground. Um, she's got a moderate to moderately high attack. Um, something that I recommend in general for swarms. So if you fight three or four more characters at once, she's really good at clearing it. Um, they also have certain elixir costs, which is the purple uh, teardrop in the top left corner of each card. Um, that's the cost that it requires to utilize during the game. So if you have a, a bunch of fives, so for example, if I had a bunch of princes um, on my deck, I'd probably have a lot less cards going through, um, which wouldn't be an effective strategy. So you have to find a way of balancing it out. So for example, I balanced it out with a couple of two ball characters, um, a three and a couple fours, um, and then my highest card is a five, being the prince. So um, you can purchase other cards using the coins in game. Um, you can also purchase chests to get more cards as you see fit. You can use money if you want to. Um, however, for what it's worth, um, the game is actually pretty good at uh, handling the gem system. Uh, you pick up at least between two and five gems uh, per uh, uh, chest, like the bigger chests, like the golds and the giant chests. Um, so you really aren't going to run out. Um, you can also use your gems to not only uh, purchase chests, but you can also use it to purchase gold, which in turn is utilized to purchase new cards. Um, now for the epic cards, they do cost a little bit more, but for what it's worth, they are amazing. Um, I have uh, two epics, one being a skeleton army and the other one being the prince. Now both these guys are extremely devastating. Um, I'm actually gonna play a game in a couple seconds here uh, to show you guys what it looks like. You can also play with your friends by using um, the uh, clan options. So me, myself, I'm in a clan, it's called Bro. Um, you can not only request cards from your friends and everything, uh, but you can also donate cards to your friends, plus be able to not only that, but compete with everyone in a friendly battle in a friendly turnaround. Um, I'm not going to do that because because I don't believe I have any friends online right now. I have three people online, but for what it's worth, I don't think my one friend's on, so I'm not going to justify playing right now for the friendly battle. Um, there's also TV Royale, which allows you to see the best of the best. Um, these are the players that uh, are the top of the line best players that you're going to find out there. Um, you can actually watch how they play, learn from them, and then see uh, different options for yourself to see if you can find a strategy that best suits your style. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kick over right away, and I'm actually going to start a battle. Um, this is a ranked battle based on the trophy up at the top there. So if I win, I get trophies. If I lose, I don't get trophies. Um, I actually lose trophies in that regard. So I'm just going to open up a battle and see if I can't find anything fun to do. Uh, searching for opponent. Uh, for what it's worth, this is a highly open market. So you're going to find a lot of people out there that are wanting to play this game. So my strategy itself is usually uh, play left and right. So I'm going to throw my Valkyrie there. And I'm going to throw my two goblins off to the side to see if I can't uh, do some crowd control. 
as I figured they were going to throw their uh, goblins out there. Throw a fireball to take all of them out to protect my castles. Um, to win the game, you have to control all of your opponent's castles. Uh, to do that, you would basically have to destroy their three uh, towers. So I'm going to swing over. Uh, he just threw that at me. That's all right. That means he burned a lot of uh, his stats to do so. Me, myself, I'm going to throw a skeleton army on him. So that's one of the epic cards. I actually threw both my epic cards out there. Um, my one epic card being the skeleton army on one side and the other side being the prince. Um, if it looks like I am conserving my mana or my elixir, I am, just on the grounds that I want to be able to um, have extras in the event that they start to swing hard. Um, so usually in this case, so for example, he now has uh, two enemies that are unaccounted for for myself. Um, I could throw somebody down there to uh, take him out. But I think my castle is going to be strong enough. It might not be. Just kidding. I'm just going to throw that out there. I'm going to crowd control over here. And throw my prince on the side here. I'm going to try to smoke out everyone. I'm going to try to take out that top right castle. Um, at least try. <laughs> um, because if I can take that out, then I should be golden. He's going to send a prince out. Shoot. Try to defend that. Try to defend it. Alright, cool. So as you saw right there, I took my first castle. I think he's about to take my castle. Nope, he did not. Wow, that's a surprise. Throw a skeleton army right here to force them to put out some extra cards. I'm going to throw my Valkyrie here. And she's going to crowd control again. He took out my tower uh, using a projectile, which I expected as much. That's okay. Uh, I'm going to throw my Prince and my Mini P.E.K.K.A. here. Uh, both really high caliber cards. Um, usually high power, so I'm looking to swing, basically. Um, as hard as I humanly can. Um, I got a lot of power kicking through now. And taking a second tower. Fantastic. Um, in itself, the game is super fun. I think I actually won this one. Um, I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, though. He's trying really hard to take my tower out just by using fireballs, and it's not working out for me. So um, I believe I have won this one. I turn the volume down because it's a little loud for me. Um, I won based on the fact that I took more castles than he did. So I took two, he took one. Um, I won 30 trophies, which is just more credit to get higher cards. And I also got a silver chest, which you, you use to pick up more cards in the future. Um, so basically, in itself, that was uh, that was me winning. <laughs> when I did the, I actually did a video before this. I realized that the volume was ten times louder than what it is right now. Um, I lost both those games. So uh, kudos to me for winning. Yay! Um, that is awesome. But otherwise, this game, fantastic game. I would highly recommend this to literally anyone that's looking to get a game. Uh, that not only you can play, but anyone that you know um, can also play as well. Um, but otherwise, that's the end of this video. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know in the comment section. Um, otherwise, uh, that's it for the cafe to go. This has been Anthony Showtime Taylor for the Gamers Cafe. Y'all have a wonderful day now, all right?